Okay, this is lesson four, reciprocal functions and negative angles. Um, before we start the actual lesson, we should call what a reciprocal is. And a reciprocal is any number or fraction with its numerator and denominator switched places. So an example would be two and one over two. And a reciprocal function is the reciprocal of the primary trigonometry ratios. So we know that sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The reciprocal of that would be CSC, which is cosecant. It would be 1 over sine of theta or equal to hypotenuse over the opposite. So this ratio just flipped over. The second uh, primary trigonometry, trigonometry ratio is cos of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And the reciprocal would be secant or SEC is equal to 1 over cos of theta or equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And the last would be tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And the reciprocal would be cotangent is equal to 1 over tan of theta and is also equal to adjacent over opposite. When you're solving for reciprocal functions, you need to know two things. The first is a cast rule to see uh, if the angle or the ratio will be positive or negative. And the second is the, the two special triangles, which are right here, the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90. And that is to find exact values. Okay, the first example is cosecant of 45 degrees. And because it's 45 degrees, that we know, we know that it's in one of the special triangles. So the, f the first thing that you do is you change it back to sine of 45 degrees. And then you solve for that from the triangle. And we know that sine of 45 degrees is equal to uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So 1 over the square root of 2. And if we flip that back, uh, if we find the reciprocal of that, that would be equal to the cosecant of 45. So you just flip it over. So the cosecant of 45 degrees is equal to the square root of 2 over 1. And if you do the same but for an uh, angle that is not in any of the two special triangles, I think the, the steps that you do to, to find the answer is you do 1 over the the ratio, since it's cotangent, the ratio is uh, 10, so 10 of 25 degrees. So if you do that, if you plug that into calculator, you can do it with the special, uh, you can do exact values, so plug it into your calculator, 10 of, oops, 10, uh, 10 of 25 is equal to 2.144. Four, five, and you do it to four decimal places. Um, negative angles. Negative angles are just angles that move clockwise from the x-axis instead of counterclockwise. So pro uh, positive angles would move this way, and negative angles would move this way. And to solve uh, for tan of negative 60, first you first draw your your diagram so it goes clockwise so it'd be 60 degrees this way and we know that 60 degrees is part of one of the special triangles so the tangent of 60 would be um, tangent is opposite over adjacent so the square root of 3 over 1 and you look at the cast rule see and we see that it's in the um, cotan or the cosine um, quadrant, so it would be negative, so negative three over one. And then, if you're solving for the co the cos of negative two hundred twenty-five, you just first you draw your your arm diagram again. And it goes negative 225, so it'd be 90, it'd be here. And to 
find the related angle, you'd have to do 180 minus 225. Give you, or 225 minus 180, it gives you 45 degrees. So, uh, the cos of 45 uh, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over the square root of 2. And because it's in the sine uh, quadrant, then it's a negative, so it would be 1 over the square root of 2, negative 1 over the square root of 2. And that's lesson 4.